a lot of you may be sitting there listening going, okay, that sounds really good and sounds logical and I know I should be working on my business a lot more than I am at the present, but I don't have the time. Honestly, it, there's got to be someone who's sitting there thinking that. So we're going to spend the next few minutes on a concept that I believe will assist you in organizing your time to allow you to work on your business rather than in it. Now, you, you may have noticed that I didn't say this concept will give you more time because no one can do that. There's 24 hours in a day everywhere in the world. Yeah, we can't, I can't change that. And I don't think there'd be too many people who can. So what you can do though, is change the focus of what is taking up your time. Now this time target has been adapted from uh, Stephen Covey, the author of The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And this Achieve a Time Target is a simple four section diagram allowing you to prioritize your tasks, tasks depending on their importance or their urgency. Projects and tasks can be identified as fitting into one of four areas. Target area four, or the first one. This is the area of delusion or waste. You know, tasks that are not important and not urgent. Task area three, or target area three, is the area of distraction or deception. Tasks that are not important, but they're urgent. Target area number two, the area of demand. This is where the task is both important and urgent. And target area number one, the zone. Basically, tasks or projects that are important, but not urgent. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about those now. now. The zone, that includes activities, as I said, that are important, but not urgent. And this is the area of quality. Here's where we do our planning. We, we anticipate and prevent problems. We empower others. You know, remember I said, we can't really grow our business. We can only grow our team. This is where you do that. And this is where we develop our skills. I want you to hear this. Ignoring this area feeds and makes target to, target to area, the important urgent area, much larger because it moves things from being important and not urgent into being important and urgent. Yeah, this zone, the zone, is commonly referred to as the area of leadership. That's the zone. Now, target area two, the area of demand, where it represents things or tasks that are urgent and important. Here's where we handle the unhappy customer. We meet a deadline. You know, we basically, we've got to get back on the tools or we deal with urgent HR issues. Now, we all need to spend some time in this area, but we need to realize, please listen to this as well. Many important activities become urgent through procrastination or because we don't undertake sufficient planning. In other words, they move from the zone out to the area of demand because we don't make a decision, we procrastinate, or we don't plan. Really important to know. Target three, or the area of distraction. Um, these are activities that are urgent, but not important. So this is sort of like the phantom or the reverse of the zone. In this area, the noise of urgency creates an illusion of importance. But the actual activities tend to be only important to someone else. So these are the, the Activities such as your, your phone calls, your meetings, your emails, they all fall into this category. We end up spending so much time in this area meeting other people's expectations. But the more important thing is we fool ourselves and we think we're in area two, which is important and urgent. So important that you realize that. And the final area, area four, the area of delusion. You know, you're, you're not important and you're not urgent activities. We really shouldn't be here at all, but you know what? Let's be honest. Sometimes get a bit weary from being tossed around in the areas two and three. But guess what happens? We escape to target area four, the area of delusion, for survival. Mindlessly surfing, say, web, 
articles, reading irrelevant marketing emails, simply maybe even gossiping around the photocopier in the office or the smoko table. These are all examples of area four time wasters. And look, to be honest, target area four, um, the area of delusion, it's not survival, it's deterioration over a period of time. Yeah, it may initially feel nice, but generally it's empty time and ultimately it's not really satisfying. So I'd like you to think back now over the past week or so and which target area do you think you spent most of your time in? If you're like many people, it's, it's probably a good chance you spent most of it in the area of distraction. But at what cost if you're sitting in that not important and urgent area? Yeah, what's the cost? The cost of doing that is, how can I put it? It's urgency is driving you there. You're being driven by urgency and not importance. So if you're there, then you're not spending your time in the area of the zone. You know, creating that business plan, growing the skills of your team, building deeper relationships with your clients. Those truly important activities are not receiving your time and attention. Basically, you're working on things that are important to someone else. So there's only 24 hours in a day, we get that. So where do you find the time to spend in area one, the zone? Well, we know that we shouldn't be spending time in area four. That's a given. And we know every now and then we have to spend time in area two, important and urgent meeting deadlines. That really only leaves area three, the area of distraction, the not important and not urgent area. That's where we can go there and say, do these tasks or projects, are they, are they not really as important as they appeared to be at first glance? Can we re reclaim some of that time we lose in this that distraction of urgency and spend that in that not urgent zone? Something to think about. And, and just finally on this, this concept of the time target, we, we adopt a, a reasonably simple way to allocate some of our, our time. It's a bit of a tip for you. We refer, refer to this concept as the four Ds. So if we're in that not important and not urgent zone, dump it. If we're in that not important but urgent zone, delegate it to someone that it is important to. If we're in the important and urgent, you know what, you've got to do it now. And then finally in the zone, if it's important but not urgent, we have time to decide when. Four Ds, really easy then to reallocate some of your time to work on these concepts that we've been talking about, working on your string, strong business foundations, working on your business rather than in it. Hope that's been uh, some assistance. It certainly does for, works for us. And I'm gonna leave you, we're pretty well just coming to the end of it, I'm gonna leave you as a parting thought from H. Jackson Brown. And don't say you have, don't have enough time. You have exactly the same number of hours per day that were given to Helen Keller, Arceo, Michelangelo, Mother Teresa, Leonardo da Vinci, Thomas Jefferson, and Albert Einstein. Yep, reasonably powerful in that we all have 24 hours in a day. It's what we choose to do with it. 